All right, people, here we are. It's a little quick uh, MMA news blog. UFC injuries and sicknesses and all that crap. Pretty screwed up news. Uh, apparently, War Machine, uh, John Copenhaver, has been kind of in the you know recent news with his uh, switch over to uh, switched over to the porn industry. Of course, of course he shot one uh, scene, I guess, for one movie that they put out or whatever. Apparently, I don't know if he's he's allowed back. I mean, I haven't gotten all the news on what what's going on with the porn industry, but uh, you know, in his career in there anyway. But um, apparently, what happened was a couple days ago, he got in there a, a huge fight with his girlfriend and uh, was strangling her or something like that. This is right after he got into the huge fight at some kind of club or whatever. And he was just just went on a rampage and just you know socking dudes in the in the face and. and you know, a bunch of guys are coming around getting in your face and stuff. What, what are you supposed to do? So, being that, you know, he could get, you know, his ass whipped pretty good and, you know, with something like that going on, he jumps into survival mode, starts, you know, laying into dudes, kicking ass, and gets the heck out of there. So, I'm assuming maybe maybe, maybe the night of or a night or two after, um, he got, you know, that's when he got in the argument with his girlfriend and, uh, you know, things came to him, strangling her or whatever, and, which really sucks because he was pleading for for his career and, and uh, you know to clear his name and everything you know about the fights because everybody everybody looked at it in a, in a bad way you know him his little brawl he got into at the bar it made him look bad kind of like you know this guy's got uh, you know lethal hand lethal weapons his hands you know and he's taking it down on people and it's like it wasn't the case you know what I mean he was you know he was saying anyway, you know, I don't want to say this is this is factual or anything, but he was saying that there was still a bunch of people in his face, so what's he supposed to do, you know? So, I don't know, he may have been running his mouth, I have no idea, but apparently he's a fugitive, fugitive. so, <laughs> which I thought was pretty crazy, man. Um, but apparently, right now, he's a fugitive and cops are after him, and, and so, anyway, uh, a little bit more in uh, MMA news is the Anderson Silva... Vitor Belfort fight, which is on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Apparently that's off again. Um, they were talking about putting it on uh, UFC 109, and there's talks of putting it on UFC 110, which both of those aren't going to happen because Anderson Silva still has a problem with his elbow. I don't know if he just <laughs> doesn't have full range of motion or what's going on, but uh, he, they're not. he's not expecting to be back at least until April. So apparently he's going to have to take, you know, he's going to have to look for... You know, UFC, uh, I don't know, 112, 114, somewhere in there. So, which, I don't think that fight should even happen. I, I don't think, I don't think Vitor Belfort should, should even waste his time with that. You know, I, I, I don't even think that he should have a shot, you know, at fighting him yet. You know, Vitor Belfort's been one fight back so far, and he annihilated uh, Rich Franklin, which is no surprising feat, really. Some other news that I was... Uh, recently thinking about was the whole uh, Brock Lesnar thing, and we've kind of gone over this. You know, it's possible speculation that Brock might not even be back at all, apparently with his sickness being as bad as it is. And uh, with the actual uh, divertilosis, I think is what it's called. I might be, I might be pronouncing it slightly wrong, but uh, apparently with that going on, he may, not, he may be in the situation to where he can't fight again because he may re-injure that or, you know, so that... Is a huge blow to UFC right there, and it's, it just seems to me, man, it's really weird that UFC is receiving some bad, whatever you want to call it, karma or whatever. At this stage, you know, of UFC, it's like they're they're receiving all this bad stuff going on, uh, with injuries and sicknesses and everything. It seems like Strike Force is only getting better. So I mean, I, I mean, you know, and I, I, we've me and Destro have talked about, you know, like it, it, you know, I. I don't know if uh, you know Dana would ever be in a position to buy Strike Force, you know, in the next year or two or whatever. I don't know what the deal is, you know, as far as like, you know, Strike Force being a sellable company. I don't know if it's just a Scott Coker thing or if he's I, he's probably got to deal with all kinds of people in order to try to buy Strike Force, which I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt him looking into doing that. You know, Dana White. I wouldn't doubt him looking into doing that in the next year or two because if they keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, it's just going to be more competition because Pride was doing. Pride was doing beautifully. UFC, you know, picked back, picked momentum back up. You know, when Dana jumped in and, and started really doing things with it, um, and obviously has had an awesome run. And then buying Pride. Now with Strikeforce, you know, building momentum, I wouldn't be surprised if Dana in the next few years is going to buy Strikeforce. So, and I don't even think that's possible at this point. You know, without Coker totally folding and saying, "Yeah, I'll take whatever you're out, you know, what your out, what your offer is, whatever." So I don't know. 
that's just, you know, that's that's all. I'm just looking way into the future, you know. Um, I don't I don't see it happening, you know, anytime soon. But I wouldn't be surprised if it happened in the next couple of years. UFC 108 card was supposed to have Silva versus Belfort, you know, as the main event, you know, and that that you know got scrapped. Um, but before that, it was supposed to be Lesnar versus Carlin, and that got scrapped because of uh, Brock's issue. And Carlin kind of had, had an issue too, but was going to still go, go you know go through with it. So UFC 108 now is is just it's like it's, it's like a um, a mirror of uh, UFC 106. It's like uh, you know the, the the main event is taken off, so let's just bump up the, the lesser fight. You know the Lesnar Carmen fight was taken off. The Vitor Belfort, you know Anderson Silva fight was taken off. So let's just bump up Rashad Evans versus Diego Silva. I I don't know, man. I think it's a good fight. It's going to be a good fight. Um, two good knockout guys, you know, um, but at the same time, I don't think it's good enough to carry a main event, man, I really don't. So, and Dana White, I think, you know, pocketbook-wise, maybe he's going to start, start, you know, realizing that, you know, okay, we got to either look elsewhere here and start getting some new good fighters in, proven fighters, not somebody that's been on the TV show, because as far as I'm concerned, Tough 10 is a tough 8, tough 9, or pretty good, Tough 10 is a joke. I mean... Yeah, some people, you know, still like the show, and it's getting good ratings or whatever. And obviously, a lot of people like the show and stuff like that. But you know, getting gassed after 40 seconds and stuff like that—it's like watching Mark Coleman fight himself. You know what I mean? I mentioned that in another blog too. That's a whole, you know, that's a debacle, man. You know, the only and, and they've milked the Kimbo thing for you know the entire span of the show, of the season so far. Just Kimbo this, Kimbo that, Kimbo, you know, and give me a break, man. The, the I mean, come on, how how planned of a show can you have when it when that when in the, in the the uh, promo, they say, the stage has been set for Kimbo to come back. I mean, come on, that's weak. That is weak, man. That is weak. It's where you've got to keep milking the Kimbo thing in order to get people to tune in. You know, and it's working, but you know what? You keep doing that kind of crap, and you know what? It's pretty soon people are going are gonna to start getting sick of it. And they're, they're just going to stop tuning in. Because they're just going to start to forget about it. It's like, this shows the same bullshit every time I turn it on. They're promoting the hell out of one thing. And showing you something else. It's a, it's like it's a bad bait and switch bullshit situation. So anyway, um, it's pretty much it. It's a little uh, little snippet of news going on in the MMA world. All right, all you YouTubers, hit your subscribe buttons up in the corner there, and uh, hit your comments down below. You know, visit the page. Thanks for tuning in, man. We'll see you.